Guys, only the soy sauce assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today we are doing the cigar with the big names. Uh, it's called La Gloria Cubana Corojo de Oro. So this cigar has got some serious tobacco in there, supposedly. It's got two separate binders. It's got uh, you know a beautiful Ecuadorian wrapper, and it's got three different filler in here so it's got quite a bit of stuff in there and it's not very expensive right uh i think the price is 10 10 49 msrp so it wouldn't be too hard to get to there even with me trying to recover from from illness um so yeah let's take a look at this cigar right now la gloria cubana Corojo de Oro. It is a Toro 6x50. MSRP $10.49. Comes in the box of 20. Wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano. The binder is two separate Cuban C tobacco, which is a Corojo 9790A and Pilo de Oro, which is grown in Mao, Dominican Republic. And the filler is, well, big names. Brazilian Matafina, Dominican Biolo Cubano and Nicaraguan from Albuquerque. Beautiful looking cigar. The cap got a little bit of imperfection, but I'm hoping that will smoke well, especially when I'm kind of still recovering from sickness. We'll see where that goes. Okay, so let's get started with the cigar now. Start with the smell it. Mm, it's like a relatively leathery, sweet woodsiness to the smell. Now, got to be very careful to cut this thing because as you guys see in the video, cap is kind of not that well put together. Okay. All right, surprisingly, the draw is really good. Even though I cut it in like a little slant, because I got to be very careful to avoid this part. Cold draw is um, leathery woodsy, yeah. A little bit fruitiness too. All right, <clears throat> use our fake Dupont. That sounds horrible. Try again. There we go. Uh, all right, toast it up. Give it every chance to do good. Every chance. Now, just to keep a record, that new lighter I just bought, it's being recalled. So I don't know if I want to send it back for repair or um, keep it the way it is. But yeah, it's being recalled. Have you ever heard of a lighter being recalled? Hmm. 
is leathery. Some sort of woodiness, not cedar. Some sort of, I don't know, is that citrus? A little bit of leafiness. Nothing to my nose though. Like nothing is, oh, okay, okay. Spice is catching up. Okay. I was like, I'm surprised nothing burns my nose. A little bit of tingliness, a little bit spice. Yeah, not, not much is going on. Let me smoke this a little bit and we'll see where that goes. Be right back. Okay. So, first stir. The cigar is creamy. A lot of smoke output. Burns really good. But the taste is rough. Taste is like woodsy. Maybe a little cedar. Maybe a little, you know, it's all maybe. Maybe a little bit of, you know, leather. Maybe a little bit of earthiness. Maybe a little bit of that weird citrusy end. Maybe. It's rough. It has some spice. It, it has maybe like a burned red pepper. Pepper. Like it, it's that smokiness kind of like the creaminess kind of covers up some of those notes. It's coming up, but it's rough. It's just <clears throat> one after another, but they, they don't harmonize that well. It's just there. That's what I got. I mean, it's just, it's just, I don't feel like the smoke or the flavor harmonizes. And there is a little bit of like floral smell too. Like a floral note smell. And and at the end of that floral note is kind of, I don't know, a little bit stink. So it's an interesting, a lot of things going on yet. They don't all want to work together. Kind of note. You know, imagine like a family. A family of people that just don't like each other. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's what I got to want first. I mean, the cigar is beautiful. The smoke output is great. The draw is great. It's just, I don't know why the, 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 the taste just doesn't want to work with each other. Like you taste it, but they somehow don't work with each other. Maybe it's that Brazilian Matafina. Who knows? Yeah. Second third. Be right back. All right. Second third. I don't know. This thing tastes kind of light. It's about a medium uh, strength, but like it's trying to get smooth, but in the mess of getting smooth, everything kind of died down a little bit. Everything kind of died down a little bit. I mean, I can see what they're trying to do is and try to highlight the hybrid, but it's just just watered down glowiness, floral earthiness, leather. <clears throat> I don't know. I hope it gets better. It, I mean, it, 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 it smokes okay. It burns okay. Um, but the ash just keep falling off on its own. Like, I can show you my desk was like, it's every time it gets a little bit, it just falls. Every time it gets a little bit, it just falls. So it's like, not really want to like, um, like, if you didn't know this was a premium cigar, you would think that this is mixed filler because they don't stay that well. And whoever decided to glue this thing, went to town, yo, went to town. But here's the rapper. No, what well, not rapper? Ban, ban. Uh, uh, in a way, it's good. Put together, like nicely put together. But why does it look like so old and beat up? Like. It's just the way it is. Maybe the paper is too thin or something like that, but it looks kind of worn and beat up. It's kind of cool. The blue part has some texture to it. See that? You see the lines on the blue? There's some texture to it. So that's kind of cool, but still, like, somebody wants to tell on this. Anyways, so last there. Let's finish up. Uh, I'm, I, I don't have a lot of hope on this. It starts to get spongy. Uh, like, mm, mm, as I smoke, so... 
there's a lot of like steam, I guess I'm getting. Still burns. There's some sweetness. Um, there is, um, I don't know, that sweetness ends with a little bit of like a citrusy or like sour note, like fruity sour note. It doesn't work well with me. It's just, I, I would have rather just stay that woodsy leather and a little bit of sweetness and just stay like that. But then it ends in the, like the sour note. So some people like it though. Some people like that citrusy end, but I just don't. Let's fix that a little bit. So. Ah, it's really hard to get excited over the cigar. I, I wanted to be, you know, it's all the cigars I chose so far for my recovery cigar are not that good, I guess. I need to I need to I need to pick some big shots, smoke some nice things and get my groove back. You know, why am I looking at my running? I'm not running anywhere. I'm I, I'm running. I'm running. I'm not anywhere. I'm not running anywhere. But. But yeah, Laster, you are back. All right, Laster. Laster just died down. It's like watered down. Woodsy, floral. A little bit of sweetness. Still have that weird citrus. That's pretty much it. I don't know. Why? I can all these. Here's the thing, right? When you go and make a multitude of different really shine tobacco into a cigar it just doesn't work well it's like having a basketball team but you got like jordan kobe uh, uh, uh o'neal and i don't know uh, larry burr and all that stuff in one team and you're like now go play and they go no i don't want to work with each other we're all great individually it's all great but when you put them together they don't work well with each other because they all want to shine but they don't really shine it's like that and this cigar is like that you have all the big shot Omatepes and Oro and, 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 you know, Cuban C, all that stuff. You know, put it all together and they don't really want to work with each other. Like, you know, it's an impressive lineup, but yet it's not impressive flavor that's output. It's really, I don't know. It's just kind of sad. You want you want them to work together, but, but you knew they're not. It, it can only have one or two things that shine. The rest have to have to play support player. And... Uh, basically, this is basically you have all the big shots and nobody want to work with each other. That's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, this cigar is uh, I don't know, a fifty maybe a fifty, a um, dollar even. That's where where I am. A dollar to a fifty. Uh, it's not it's not that enjoyable. So <clears throat> that will be it for this particular one. You know. The next one, I need to smoke something different. I need to really pick and think. I need to talk to them individuals like, would you give me some nice flavor? Would you give me some nice flavor? Would you give me, oh, we would? No. Let's go on date. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. So, that would be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you think about the cigar. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.